Okay, guys, good morning. It's lab day, okay? So, with lab day, we need to go over a few things, okay? How many of you guys remember when I talked to you at the beginning of the school year about my absolute rule when we do them? Um, what did I say about my absolute rule? Correct. And if you ever break my absolute rule, you are done doing labs for the rest of the year. Crystal clear? Okay. The reason being is because my absolute rule has to do with safety. And if I cannot trust you to be safe, I'm not going to let you do the labs. Meaning that when we're doing labs, you'll be sitting at the back table, pencil and paper, and that's how you'll do your lab. You will not do the labs anymore because I will not have a student that gets injured because I can't trust them, okay? So let's take a look at my absolute rule for this one, okay? The absolute rule, I will not put any of this in my mouth or lick my fingers. Everybody read it with me. I will not put any of this in my mouth or lick my fingers. Now, let me explain. With this, uh, I will be handing you a marshmallow in a moment. They're powdery, sometimes they're sticky, sometimes, well, and they are sweet. There's some people, when they get sticky things on their fingers, for whatever reason, decide to lick them. We're in here wearing all these silly little masks, looking like bank robbers, because we're trying not to get other people sick, right? You go and lick your fingers, it defeats the purpose. The other thing is, all of your supplies are sitting on top of a desk that has cleaner on it. Every time you guys go in and out, I have to put cleaner down. You don't ingest cleaner, okay? So, are we crystal clear on this? Give me a thumbs up. I'm going to look at each one of you. That is an acknowledgement that you understand the rules or I will kick you out, okay? Okay, we're good, we're good, 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 good. Good. Okay. So, every one of you acknowledge that you understand. You don't lick your fingers. You do, you're done for the year. Period. Okay? Also, don't try to argue silly points. For example, if we were doing something where you had to wear goggles, and I told you you don't take your goggles off, and I come walking by, your name, sir? Andrew. Andrew. I'm going to just pick on you for a moment, Andrew. And Andrew has his goggles on. And I see him, and he's lifting his goggles up. And I tell him, you're done. You just broke my absolute rule. And he's trying to say, well, well, but I didn't take them off. I don't care. Andrew, would you know not to do this if I told you don't take them off? Yeah. Because by doing this, can things get in his eyes? Absolutely. So I'm not going to argue silliness. He knows. Leave them on. If for some reason you had to say your eye was bothering you, then I would have you wash hands, step outside of the room, outside of the lab environment, and then you could remove them. And then as you return, you would have to have them back on. <clears throat> In this case, sure, your fingers might get a little sticky. We can wash the fingers, but we keep things out of the mouth. Are we clear on the absolute rule? Yes. Okay, good. Okay, um, I'm going to slide over to the chalkboard now, so if you'll rotate the camera here. Now, this is a rule, but it's not my absolute rule, okay? Turn it more, ma'am. Keep going. There we go. There's my beautiful face. Okay, so on the chalkboard here, here's another rule. When we're doing this, no scissors to cut the spaghetti. Reason being, spaghetti is hard. You try and cut that spaghetti, it's not going to want to cut. Eventually, because you're pushing really hard and it does cut slash break, you might accidentally slip and cut yourself with the scissors. Okay? Don't cut it. It's actually much easier to just break them. Okay? So, don't cut the spaghetti. Okay? Clear? Now, with that, you have a meter of string. Use the scissors for cutting that. You have tape at your desk. I don't suggest cutting the tape. Reason being is it sticks to the scissors. It's easier just to tear the tape. Now, you will also notice that at your desk, the tape 
is taped to the outside of your desk. Did I miss you guys with tape? Okay, I'll get you some. Um, it's taped on the outside edge. My suggestion, leave it attached to the desk. Go to one end of it, pull it off the desk, rip what you need, and reattach it to the desk. Reason being is because you only get what I gave you, and if it gets folded up on itself, it's not gonna un you're not going to be able to pull it apart, and you're going to ruin your tape. So I suggest leave it on the desk, and then, you know, just peel off what you need. Are we good on that? Okay. Marshmallow. Um, with that, we're building a tower, and the marshmallow has to sit on top of it. Okay. You can't stab it into the spaghetti. You can't tape it. You can't tie it with a string. You have to set it on the top. It has to just sit there, okay? Now, the way this is going to go, guys, I am going to give you five minutes to discuss with your partner and come up with a plan. You do not get to touch any of the supplies. You can point at them, but you don't touch any of your supplies, okay? That five minutes will go by quickly. Come up with a plan. Now, think about it, because if we were playing football and everybody wants to throw the ball, is that going to work? No. no, you have the whole team swarming to throw the ball. Or everybody wants to catch the ball. So the ball comes back to the quarterback and everybody runs for the other end. Because everybody wants to catch the ball. The quarterback's about to get creamed. The other team's going to just come over and squash him. Okay? So... Come up with a plan. Think about it. Okay? Now, with this, your grade has nothing to do with whether in the end you were completely successful. This is about learning to work together, being able to work with another person, being able to try and accomplish a goal. Now, if your marshmallow fails and it doesn't work, that's fine. As long as you learn something about working with other people, I'm good. Now, the other part for your grading. You'll have initially the five minutes discussion. You'll have the 18 minutes of build time. Boy, that goes by quick. Kids are like, oh my gosh. Now, the last part of the grading is the writing at the end. I will be giving everybody a piece of paper. You look over at that whiteboard over there, you have three things that you need to write. You're okay, you can leave the camera there. You have three things that you're going to need to write. At the end, you're going to be reflecting about how it went. And I would encourage you, talk to your partner. Andrew, so when we built our tower, what did you think went well? Wah, 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 wah. Okay, yeah, I thought that went well too. So you're going to write me a paragraph about what went well. You're going to then write me a paragraph about what you could improved upon. What could we have done better? Well, maybe we didn't um, lay out our plan well enough. We seem to be a little confused, okay? Um, what would you do differently is your last paragraph. So what would, did you do well? What would you improve? And what would you do differently? Next time, I think maybe I would have took a piece of paper and drew a sketch so that what I was thinking in my head you could clearly see because when I explained it, I didn't explain it very well. Okay? So, three paragraphs. One on what you did well. One on what you improve, what you would improve. And what you would do differently next time. Okay? Um, in the end, don't worry about if you achieve it or not. It's not about that. I want you to learn to work together. Because we're going to have a lot of labs. And you guys are going to need to know how to work with each other. Okay, any questions? Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start a five minute timer up on the board. And when I say start, you are to talk with your partner about what you're going to do. Again, do you get to touch the supplies? No. At the end of the five minutes, we will then start our 18 minute build, okay? Any questions before we get started? Okay, and while I have that timer going, I will get you ladies your tape, and I will also be bringing around the marshmallows, okay? Your question, ma'am. I have a question. Go ahead. So, do we have to use um, anything? Okay, excellent. You can use any part that you want, 
okay? The spaghetti, the string, the tape, and you have the marshmallow. Um, you can break it, do whatever you want with it. I'm fine. You can just only use the supplies that I gave you. Okay, any questions? We good? Okay, guys, so your five minutes of discussion is done, okay? So just to review, one, remember, you cannot put your string around, tie the marshmallow. You cannot tape your marshmallow. You cannot stab your marshmallow. You build your structure and then your marshmallow has to sit on the top, okay? You can use any, all, none of any of the given supplies. We don't cut, we don't cut the spaghetti. I suggest just tearing tape. You will want the scissors for cutting string, okay? Um, you will have the 18 minutes. Now, this will go much faster than you realize. I will shout out and give you guys kind of heads up halfway through, two minutes left, and I'll kind of give you those heads up. Now, once you have it and you're happy with it, I would step back. Don't accidentally bump. Think about how you're walking, because if you're walking heavy, you can bounce your desk. And when you have that marshmallow sitting on there balanced, be careful. You guys are free to move to the other side of the desk. You are free to stand. Whatever works for you, okay? Um, any questions on it? No, yes? Can we move the desks? Uh, no, we need to leave the desks where they are. Okay. But you can move, move the human, okay? And then at the end, once the timer goes off, I will come around my yardstick and I will be measuring them to see who ends up winning. After you guys are done, then we will go on to our writing. And then I will tell you as to how the last class did and the surprise that nobody saw coming. Okay? Are we ready? So the person who wins gets a surprise? No, I'm just going to tell you the surprise of how it turned out in the last class. Okay? Because it was something we didn't expect. So, when this thing is done, you're going to hear, <laughs> don't jump and knock your tower over. <laughs> okay? Are we ready, guys? Okay. So, I will go and grab this in just a second and move it out of your way. Okay. I'm going to get ready to start the timer. What I want to see from everybody. Hands are all the way up. Okay. All the way up. Up. Up, keep them up there. On your mark. Yeah. Hands all the way up. On your mark. Yeah. Get set. Go. Yeah. All right, guys, so timer went off. Was it harder than you thought? Yes. Yeah. Did that timer go faster than you thought? Yes. Yeah. Um, what supply do you feel like you ran out of? The quickest. What didn't you feel like you had enough no, of? Go ahead. Tape. 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 Sticks. Tape. 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 What did you guys think? Tape. Tape. Over here. We didn't have trouble. You were okay with the supplies? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. So it's a bit. It's a bit challenging. How did your teamwork go? Did you go? I, I, it seemed like, from what I saw, it seemed like everybody worked really well together. Okay. Like I said, this wasn't, <coughs> sir, pay attention, please. Um, this was not so much about being successful with getting there as much as learning to work together, okay? So what we're going to do now is um, I will start coming around so that we can uh, pull our stuff down and throw it into our trash can. Well, actually, yeah, we'll do that first. Then I'm going to hand you your piece of papers, and you need to write on three paragraphs. What's the first paragraph on? What you did? Well. Well. The second thing, what you could have? And then lastly, what you would do? Okay. On your paper, first name, last initial, homeroom teacher. Okay. Make sure you have those things put together. Okay. I'm going to quickly come around, pull your stuff down so you can quickly throw it in the trash can so I can get you your paper so you can get going. Okay. All right. Okay, guys, so you have your three paragraphs written, what I could have done well, or what I did well, what I could have improved, and what I would do differently next time. When you are actually right now, show your partner that your first name, last initial, and homeroom teacher is on it. 
When you exit the classroom, you will be putting your paper into the bin. The writing side is down. Your name is towards the wall, which means that the holes of the paper will be towards the door, okay? That way I don't have to flip the papers. Homework, you will make sure, well not homework, but for your science, make sure you finish objectives one, two, three, four, all the reading, all the videos, the self-assessments, and you have your notes completely filled in. Remember the questions and key terms? Those are all filled in. When you return to school on Monday or Tuesday, depending on your group, expect to be doing the content assessment and I'll be looking to make sure that all of your work is finished, okay? Thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed this.